And I am whoever took this thing down. Good job. That that just freaks me out. That had to be incredibly scary. So good work. Um, I'm gonna also tell a little story about a road trip. I was uh, driving from Bend to Boise, Idaho, and uh, had left town late at night. Driving, it's already dark. Uh, I'm on Highway 20, past Milliken, headed for Brothers. Um, if you guys are, aren't from the area, that it's a beautiful stretch. Uh, there's some nice restaurants and some really good shopping and stuff. Um, and uh, if you are from the area, that was my first joke of the night. So, thank you. So, uh, so I'm driving, and um, I, I'm driving super fast. I've got this little race car. It's called a Honda Element. And it's like, uh, it's like if you took a sports car and just kind of uh, push it together, made a little box. So um, I'm driving and I see a car upside down on the side of the road. And I turn around, I pull over on the other side, put my hazard lights on, and I open the door to get out. And this car, this true story, this just happened. And I just hear screams. I hear screaming from the car. The wheels are still spinning. And I have that thought. Oh no, I don't like blood. I can't imagine seeing a severed limb. Uh, I'm, I'm, para I'm just petrified. But this is a little while ago. Things have changed. I'm, I'm kind of hardened since then. Uh, a lot of people ask if I like served overseas or something because I've kind of got this edge about me lately. But um, really, it's just that I, uh, I did all three seasons of The Walking Dead. Just like, right back to back. And so if this were the same situation now, I'd be like, you know, if I need to stack some limbs, I'll burn them later. It's gonna be fine. So, so I get out, I get the phone on my shoulder, I dial 911, dispatcher answers, I'm like, mile marker, whatever, car upside down, this is crazy. I run over to the car, I'm looking, and there's these three girls uh, still seat belted and upside down just screaming. So I'm running around the car trying to open it, talking to the 911 dispatcher, yeah, they're stuck in the car. And uh, all the doors won't open because the car's kind of munched on top. So finally I'm like, this is it. I got the cell phone on the shoulder. I'm like, this is going to be the most epic moment of my life. And I just get down in the athletic position and I've got two hands on the door and I'm gonna rip this sucker off. This is just gonna be, I'm like, why are none of my friends watching this? Like this is the coolest thing that I'm ever going to do. And the 911 dispatcher says, says something and I say, not now, I'm about to rip this door off. And, and the 911 dispatcher says, I need you to answer the question, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> and we had been talking for a while. This wasn't like she had just answered. We've been on the phone for a while. And it was an old school cell phone. If it was my iPhone today, I would have been like, hang on, what's your number? I'm gonna FaceTime you because I want you to see this beard, okay? No ma'am here. I'm about to rip this door off. Come on, give a guy a break. Like, totally ruined my awesome moment. So, anyways, girls get out. Uh, they're fine, they're not hurt, they're a, they're a little freaked out. And the one who's driving says, uh, I say, what happened, you know? Where are you guys headed? Oh, we are headed that direction. I'm like, no, you weren't. Uh, your car's facing the wrong way. She's like, no, we flipped forward. And I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. How'd you do that? She's like, oh, we hit some ice. And I'm like, yeah, this, it's summertime. There's, there's no ice. Um, and so as I'm talking to her, the next car is coming, and it's this uh, black SUV coming from Ben, coming about 100 miles an hour. My car's on the other side with the hazards on. So I kind of put my foot on the side like, go ahead and stop you guys, you know, uh, we got a situation here. And it just flies by me. It doesn't even stop. And I'm like, I go, whoa, that was really bad. And uh, the girl who's driving goes, yeah, there's some really bad drivers out there. <laughs> true story, true story. That was really good, I like that. Hey, thanks, yeah. appreciate it. Comedy history? Um, I've always wanted to be funny. <laughs> So this is my first my first shot going for it. It's a good start. Nice. Yeah. Okay, start.